How would you like to cultivate more influence so you can generate more income and impact? Thought leadership marketing is the best way to market if you want marketing to feel graceful and easy. The problem with a lot of other strategies of marketing is that they require a lot of hustle and hard work. I like to use the analogy of the difference between running around chasing butterflies with a butterfly net and expending a lot of energy to find butterflies, to catch butterflies, and then to hang on to them so that they don't escape versus thought leadership marketing, which is like planting a butterfly garden and taking all that energy that you would have expended running around catching one butterfly at a time and instead investing that energy up front into cultivating a garden. Every type of butterfly has a different preference for flowers. So based on the flowers that you plant in your butterfly garden, you can attract the butterflies that you're looking to attract. That's very similar to thought leadership marketing. What you're doing is you're cultivating a garden of thought leadership. You are planting flowers, you are creating content, you're creating books and articles and podcast episodes and speeches, any number of different thought leadership content, and then trusting that will draw in your ideal clients. So what does it take to do thought leadership marketing effectively? Well, first and foremost, you got to have a thought. <laughs> you got to have something unique that you've developed. One of my mentors, his name is Mark Levy. He's the author of a book called Accidental Genius. And what he talks about is creating your big, sexy idea. Something that people can immediately, or very soon after meeting you or hearing about you, they can connect with and say, oh, I like that. A thought leader, a great thought leadership marketing strategy involves someone who owns their idea. That's not knocking off ideas from others or stealing or repurposing ideas, but rather someone who's creating original thought original ideas and is leading the culture with that original thinking. Another really important thing when it comes to thought leadership marketing is positioning. And that means understanding where you belong in the market. If you're expensive, that's going to hit a certain type of audience. If you're really cheap, that's going to hit a different kind of audience. So understanding your positioning in the market, especially relative to others, is a really valuable thing to look at and know when you start to do thought leadership marketing. And then finally, the most important part of thought leadership marketing is the actual activity. What is it that you're doing on a consistent basis? One of the issues that I run into with people who want to be considered thought leaders is they'll produce one book or one big idea or one speech and be like, okay, here it is. And really thought leadership content marketing is about putting yourself out into the market again and again consistently so people start to associate you with your big idea. Three of my favorite ways to do that are publishing, broadcasting, and speaking. So publishing is putting your thought leadership into the written word. Publishing a book, publishing a blog, publishing a white paper. There are any number of ways of publishing what you do. The second is broadcasting. That's sharing your voice and maybe even your image. Right now, this is broadcasting. YouTube is accessible anywhere in the world. You can create a YouTube channel for nothing or next to nothing if you really wanted to. And if you had great content, I promise you that people would start to find it. Now, the coolest thing about the era that we live in right now is that we have more access to reach more people than anyone has ever had in the history of humanity. And then the third, my favorite way, is speaking. Speaking is really special because it allows you to create a personal connection with someone. And there is nothing like speaking on a stage and delivering content to position you as an expert and a superstar in your field. So those are my three favorite strategies for thought leadership content marketing. This video is about thought leadership marketing, but marketing is only one piece of the puzzle. If you want to learn how to do an entire thought leadership strategy, then check out my video, how to create a thought leadership strategy.